Hi everybody, uh, time again to uh, tie yet another uh, fishing fly. So I'm going to tie the acroid, um, really in a nice pattern to fish with actually. And I'm going to mention uh, how, how you can do with the wings if you struggle. Um, let's begin. Time to tie this fly then. Uh, so first of all, a uh, flat silver tinsel. So I'm just attaching that one. Uh, so just securing the tinsel, just a few wraps. Tight wraps uh, backwards to the barb. And then I'm a forward again. Going back with the thread. Insulin. There we are. So I'm just gonna cut the leftover tinsel. Putting some wax on the thread. Use pre wax threads, that's garbage. So there we are. So now we need to have a topping. So I prepared this one earlier. Sure, it's spot on. I tie in quite a lot of it since it's uh, for fishing, doesn't matter. And there we are. Centered, looks good. Cutting the leftovers again, and we have Tibetan strands. So I just take a one feather, and just select bit that I want. Let me see. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take quite a lot. So I'm gonna use that one on one side. And doing the same on the other side. the bunch and throwing away the garbage so now I just need to pick it up Put the strands on top of each other. And 
There we go. Just gonna tie in that one. bunch actually uh, making it robust for fishing doesn't matter then we have let me see I think it's a few tin cell so, well silver tin cell let me grab that one. I'm gonna use a small one. So, cutting a piece of that. I use uh, Weber's uh, have it in excess small, small, medium, large. Nice shine to it. Tying it in, securing it, going back again. So here what I want is to tie in a yellow hackle. a nice tie-in spot. Silver. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Little bit 
this pattern I like to fish with. Yeah, somewhere there. Now we're gonna do the tinsel around this part uh, and the hackle and then I'm gonna add uh, uh, the rest here. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish this one off. So do five turns. Five turns with the tin cell. Can't take that one off. Then I do fold over with the yellow hackle, the coke hackle. I didn't double the hackle uh, this time. But it should be okay in there. the leftovers there we are it's hard to see now you can see better somehow I chose the wrong t-shirt <laughs> as always so yeah, securing everything here. Going back, gonna tie in tinsel and hair on. I think I start with hair on actually. So, need to find a good tying point. There we are. Somewhere there. So it's a gray here on dyed black. Just gonna answer my, my wife. There we go. So I'm gonna tie this one in. strands backwards there we are so it gives me room to work so we are securing a bit of the hair and feather forward as well for tinsel then I think it's flat tinsel if I recall right but I'm just gonna have a look yes flat I 
and you're securing it. Pull it backwards as well. Just tying it in. And just in case I missed a bit in the beginning, I go back and tie that in properly as well. So back to the front then. So I want to even up the body a bit. So I'm gonna use uh, the silk I got. I just need to find the beginning of it. There it was. So to save some time. So as you see, I put uh, some uh, um, silk there to even out the body. And uh, now it's time to add the black one. That it uh, should be. It'll take quite, quite a lot. Just to make sure I cover all the gold ones. So, gloves. When you work with the Japanese silk. hard to tie it in with gloves. So you're gonna add it without gloves and then put them on me. The lovely thing with this pattern is uh, it's really easy to tie. It doesn't require much uh, concentration. Uh, so you can do quite a few in a short time period. But now I do it slowly for demonstration. So, gloves on. Just wrap backwards until the orange seal firm and then forward again. So I'm gonna pause here and do that. So the body is done, uh, time to do the tin cell. The hair on us have it pushed towards the, the tail and everything in the back, but that's normal, doesn't matter. So, five turns of tinsel. Then it's 
it's time for the hero itself. So gently pulling it backwards. And I'm following the tinsel. Do an extra in the front just to give it some more volume. So now I can tie it in. Just gonna push the long fibers backwards. secured a few wraps extra to make it robust It's gonna brush very gentle, gentle. Uh, brush it out. And then we're gonna have a front tackle. So let me see front tackle. Um, Yet again, it states teal. Uh, I don't have that currently, so I use pintail. Um, it's a bit lighter, this one. Sorry, my phone is buzzing, but uh, I'm gonna put it on silent. So adding the front tackle. Pushing it backwards. wraps just to make it robust again so 
So I'm gonna brush a bit more. Just splitting it, uh, the front tackle, so I get it where I want it. I don't pull it too much since you don't want the hair on the point straight downwards, and that's, that's just there. <laughs> Yeah, wrong. Just brushing it a bit more. There we go. Somewhere there. So, for sides, we should have yeast here. Quite long ones. I should point it downwards. Uh, I think this one was quite nice. So I'm gonna add that one. Find a similar. I have it on the table. Maybe that one. A bit short. Those are too long. That one is nice. Okay, I got my Yeezy. Before I tying it in, I'm gonna use banks. So it's gonna point somewhere like that downwards. Slightly downwards, I would say. There we are. Doing the same on the other side, on my side, so to say. I'm just gonna cut a few more fibers of this one, waxing the thread. I'm gonna see what my wife says. He asked if I was hungry and I'm always hungry. So we're gonna do some barbecue. So I need to wrap this one up quickly. Food time. So somewhere there. Tying it in. There we are. Looks even to me. 
So we're gonna count the leftovers. And it's a bit trickier to tie this wing in on the um, eye the hook since the eye is in the way. Uh, I'm gonna change camera angle and talk about uh, the different ways of setting the wing. So let's talk about the wing. Uh, there's a few ways of doing it. Uh, so let me just take the feather I intend to use. So what you can do, let me just shorten this one. I want them to have the e equal length. So a bit like that. Scissor. There we are. So either you put one at, at each time on side of it and make sure it actually you know goes together well so it's centered. What you can do um, more, uh, other ways is to uh, take your thread and you tie a knot um, in the front of each wing then you have a tie-in point and then easier can mount it else you can put it together like this and then do a knot here and then it's gonna be uh, quite easy to tie in as well uh, there's another way it's to overlap the wing and tying it in that way. Oh, there we go. So you can see it as well. <laughs> so I just gonna mount this wing, uh, and then I need to go up and um, grab some food. So changing view. So let us tie in the wing then. Just gonna push. The side hackle a little bit, or the front hackle, sorry. So, I started starting with one strip here. I want it to be quite long. cut it a little bit it's too long there we are nice Gonna cut that fiber as well. Just gonna measure that one. So the back like that. Shorten that one as well. A bit too long. So I'm gonna move it forward. There we are, tying it in, and that's basically it. So 
So just gonna finish off the head. Adding some black wax. But before that, I'm gonna cut the leftovers in the front. Like that. And there we have the acroid. So, Velvex tread. That's it, a bit more. And just securing it. Cutting the thread and then I'm gonna varnish with the Vineyard's varnish and take a photo. Just gonna pull it down a bit more. lower but then that's fine that's the look I was looking for that's how you tie the acroid uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, give it a try yourself and uh, take it out fishing it's a great fishing fly. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do a married wing video showing something I haven't tied before. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Um, stay safe out there. Enjoy the weekend. Bye. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh.